Hello guys, welcome back to Mordheim City of the Damned. For those of you that might remember when I was doing my channel on my my channel, not here. I was playing a little bit of this game. I was playing as a Skaven war, war band, the Boomtown Rats. And I really enjoyed this game, so I really wanted to start it again and bring it over to this channel. So it's a really good game, and I'm really looking forward to it. So now I'm playing as a uh, an undead war band. And as you see, I've got kind of made up already. It's just a very simple starting war band. I've got my hero here. Well, oh, no, not him. My leader, sorry. Ovidu Von Drac. He's in charge. He's the boss man, the vampire. And as well as that, we have Flump, Clump, and Blump, the uh, the three zombie brothers. Flump has his sword. He has a hammer, I believe, is that? A hammer or a mace, I can't quite tell. Oh, it's an axe. And this guy has a mace. So it's Flump, Blump, and Clump, the, the three zombie brothers. They'll be the bulk of our army at this point in time. And then Kret's main child is the last one. He's actually a Skaven. He's from the DLC expansion pack. He's a mercenary character. So he's a poison wind globadier. And we've got a zom uh, vampire, sorry, and three zombies. So not the most diverse warband going, but it, it's all right. We can, uh, and we've got, we've got space to expand as well. We've got more spaces to come. So for now, all you need to know is that these three, well, all four actually, the vampire and the zombies, are resistant to poison and this guy's specialty is poison so he can be throwing poison globes out like it's nobody's business because all of our warband is immune including himself so uh Kretz the the poison wind globadier he's unnamed at the moment that's a random name given to him by by the computer so i'm happy for if you commenters want to name him same with Ovidu von drac and the same with our warband we're currently the crypt keepers but I'm uh, open to changing that. I think you can change that. I'm not definite about that, to be honest. I'm fairly certain I can change the Crypt Keeper. So if you want to name the Warband, the uh, the leader, or Kret's main child here, then you're more than welcome to. The three zombies, Flump, Clump, and Blump, I've named them, obviously. So and I want to kind of keep them as they are, because I like Flump, Blump, and Clump. And also, any future uh, additions to the Warband we get, you're more than welcome to name them as well. So I've already sorted these out. Like I said, we've got sword, mace, and axe, just to mix things up a little bit. As our leader's got a, a spear and a shield, and Kret's main child has got two pistols. So we're going to go up to the first mission. Oh, yeah, we know that. Two normal missions, poor and poor, and average and poor. I think I'm going to go with the average and poor. One board will man is caught exploring buildings, while the other divides into three strike teams around the buildings. <laughs> I don't like strike teams, because it kind of splits you up. But at the same time, average and poor versus poor and poor. I'm going to have to go for the average. So let's uh, let's deploy. Okay, so let's have a look at where we can deploy here. The enemy war band is going to be centered around this... Uh... Is that them? Oh, no, sorry. I thought it was them then. The enemy war band is going to be deployed around this area here, around their thing. And it looks like we're deployed in this area here. And that's all we have. Oh, no, we have two choices or three choices of where we can deploy and it looks like the bulk of the word stone is down here and this is what we're really going for at the moment for those unfamiliar with Mordheim the word stone this these green orbs here that's the objective of the main campaign and we also have the optional objective of killing Vorkram Schnitzler and Leopold von Drac and taking their token and they are really good the optional objectives they give extra experience and level up your guys faster so that's kind of what I want to go for. So at the moment, I'm kind of thinking I want people down here to get these optional objectives. But at the same time, if we split everyone up too much, we're going to be splitting up. And that's not good. It's good to stay as a team. So I think I'm going to deploy three guys down. Or two guys down here. Put two guys down here and then bulk up here. I think I can just about do that. So let's... Not there, not there, not there. Over here. This is it. So Von Drac's going to go there. The Globadier can join and stick with there. And Flump. Or is this this Flump? This is Flump. Flump can go with Ovidu Von Drac. Um, Blump and Clump can stay around the wagon. Okay, so they're done deploying. It looks like we've got the higher initiative on all our enemies. So we're going first. Which is good, I suppose. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up here, grab these Wordstone and... I want to charge these guys in to get like the, the kills going, but at the same time, I think that's going to be a stupid idea, and I'm going to bring them down, and hopefully we can meet up with the guys grabbing the wordstone. But if not, 
they're not overly far from each other. It looks like there's a wall going up this side here, so might not be able to meet each other from either side of the wall. A lot got an entry point there and there, so I'm hoping we don't get split up. But let's uh, let's get started. Let's let's move start moving there, guys. So this is Ovidu. And there's a big cluster straight away is the first thing I notice. Just before I gather that, just check back to the map, because you can... Ah, there's there's a, their hero, a Templar Knight over there. Volk, what did we see his name? Volkram Schleisler. Okay, he's one we want to kill. He's marked for death. Oh, you can actually see, you see the little skull. I think that means he's marked for death. So we want him dead. He's our optional objective. And we've walked past two lumps of uh, wordstone there, but we've got a big one right, right on our feet. So this is good. This is what we want. This is the biggest wordstone cluster available to us. So that's good to get that on our very first mission. That's really good going for us. Get this one and all. Wordstone fragment, less good, but you know, it's all wordstone. It's all wordstone. And we can't quite make it over to either wordstone then. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull back as far back as possible and go back in an ambush stance. Just to make sure we're not split up too much. Now these guys, we want to we want to join up. You, we, we can actually see him just off the distance there. So we're going to carry carry on, looting the buildings on the right. So, oh, ran out of movement for him. Can lob a poison globe, but suppose uh, it doesn't hurt. If we lob one on our leader. It keeps him immune, like safe from attack. I don't think we can quite... We obviously can make him, but I can't quite rest Vega. Poison Globe over on our leader. He's immune, so he's not going to get damaged by it. And if they surprise us and attack our leader now, at least he's covered in poison, so they're going to take some damage doing it. So let's put them end turn. And Flump, he... There was Wordstone in these buildings. So he's going to go into the buildings and get that Wordstone there. Might be easier said than done. I think the largest problem with the uh, with these guys, the zombies, is their really slow movement range. Hopefully we can buff that later on, but they, they don't move fast at all. So we're not going to be moving fast here. Flump, sorry, Main Chide, whatever his name is, Skeet's Main Chide, and Overdo are going to be our fastest. They're going to be leading the charge, really. This is just bulk army shit, these two. Okay, now it's all their turn. So I'll check the map, see if we can see any more. Yeah, he's coming straight down for us. I'm going into the ambush stance right there. Okay, that's sweet. We can throw another poison globe on him, get him poisoned. Oh. Oh, shit, I forgot to put him in ambush stance. So he's actually walked away from the poison to do that. And he countered attacked with his massive axe warhammer type thing. Luckily, we get the counter-attack, but our weapons aren't nearly as strong as his. So we're going to need to surround this dude, get the benefit and numbers on him. And another one with a great axe coming up. So this is what we didn't want. They're all in our face, and it's just our, our leader at the forefront of the fight here. And none of these are marked for death either. It's just him way back there. And there's the leader. That's the one we want. Oh, okay. Terror test fail. Yeah, every time they get in attacking distance of our leader, they have to check a uh, terror test. I forget what the effects of that are, really, but our leader's scary as fuck. Okay, so he is low as fuck. We are doing well already. Uh, But he is Leopold von Drac. He's the one we need to kill for our, our optional objectives. So you know what, can I? Oh, I can't disengage. I'm stuck here. So I've got to attack. Uh, he's closer to dying. He's going to have to focus fire on this guy and let's not split our attention. Uh, la la, parry stance 26, dodge stance 40. Let's go for a dodge stance. We want 
Let's move this guy around here. Get him around to where we need him. And get him to throw a poison globe. Covers the, all that fight in there. So hopefully anyone else tries to get around our vampire leader. They get poisoned. And why did I, and our, that guy not get poisoned? Let's, let's have a look at him. Let's... Uh, poison glow. Oh, he is poisoned. Okay. He just didn't take damage on it, weirdly enough. Okay. That's, that's, that's all we need to know. And can we shoot? No, it doesn't look like it. But we're going to switch weapons, pull out our dagger, and we're going to get involved. Oh, no. That, oh, that was stupid, Ryan. Well, bloody done. That wasted our movement points, so now we can't actually get involved. Okay, the zombies have to come to the rescue here. That's not what we want. That's not helping things. Yeah, it looks like we're going to lose our very first mission. This is not good. This is not what we want at all. Fortunately, we're in the fight now. We're doing some damage. We've got people in. Stick him in a parry stance. Really, I should have walked this guy around so we can easily get access to people. I wasn't thinking. I didn't have my thinking cap on. I just want to get people in there in my rush to save my leader. So he's gathering the word stone. He's not a worry at the moment. Oh, he is. He's coming round. He's coming round. Shit. Terror test fail. He's terrorized, so he can't attack this turn. I think that's what terror does. It takes away their red, their little red pills, their offensive points, and that reduces the amount of attacks they can do that turn. So at this level, when everyone's got very few pills, that can be deadly. And he's just walked into the poison and stood there, so he's smart. Took poison damage and missed his hit. That's good. Overdue lives longer. Fulcrum's turn. This, is he going to stand in the poison? You close. He resisted the poison. Succeeded terror test. Attacked and dodged by Ovidu. Ovidu's surviving. This is good. This is what we need. Oh, okay. Ovidu's dead. I forget he got a second attack, attack action. Sweet. That's our leader gone in our first game. He might not die. He might survive. But he's still useless for us now. So. Another poison globe. Let's keep the poison on. Try and get as many people as possible. So that's... Can we get all four? Can we get all four? It doesn't look like we can get all four. And I want their leader in it. So let's go for... Oh, like he, he's theirs and all, isn't he? Yeah. So I just really want... I want four there. I've, I have forgot the one that's closest to us. One, one of theirs. So that's that. And... I'll stick him in ambush stance. Only one that moves, he'll charge it and like stop them in their tracks. Hopefully, he gives Flump and Clump time to get round. He keeps wailing on Leopold. Do you have two attacks? No, just the one attack. Stick him in a parry stance. Blump can clump in. Hopefully, he can be our saviour. Or not make it at all. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo this. See if I can... Cause look at the long-ass route I took there. Let's, let's do this better. Let's cut this closer to the fence. Can I come around here? Yes, I can. I still can't make it, so I'm going to have to charge this guy. But it's better than nothing. And we get a hit. Sweet. Extra damage for the charge there. And Clump. Can Clump do the same? Yes, Clump can get in. He missed, but it's alright. We've got we're surrounding this guy three on one. Kind of. Nope, don't flee, don't delay. Oh shit, I should, should have saved your movement points for a dodge. So I'm not going to flee, I'm going to end turn here. Ah, take two hits of poison, all alone check, fail, because we got all those people around him, so we get three hits. And that's sweet, that's going to turn the tide a little bit, that's what we need. He resisted the poison, I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> He's looted our leader, but he had fuck all on him anyway, so it's not a big deal. Oh no, he had the massive wordstone cluster, didn't he? Shit. We want that. 
We've got to remember this guy's got the Wordstone cluster. We want that off him. And he does massive damage. Come on, come on. Where are you going? Wait, oh, you're coming around the back. You're coming around the back, are you? You're charging Skeets. Ah, oh, Skeets is taking a beating and all. It's a bad start for the... Oh, there you go. Skeets is out of the action. Shit, this is a bad start for the Crypt Keepers or whatever we are. Oh, more, oh shit, yeah. So if I remember what zombies don't uh, add to the morale. They, like, they're non-morale issues because they're raised from the dead. So they've they've killed our two yeah they've killed our two morale generating guys and we've failed a route test so we've got nothing from that absolutely nothing and our two guys are dead this is the worst possible start okay so I have played this game not a great amount but I've played I've got a, I've got a save going off camera and but I've lost two missions in total across my more time career. Both of them, the first mission of the, the recorded uh, recorded sessions. So first mission for the undead, I lost. The first mission for Skaven on my other channel, I lost that one too. So hopefully things get better now. Hopefully we've started off poorly and things can only get better from here. And that's how this is going. Fortunate return, full recovery. So he's not dead. This is fine. Got some experience from it. That's decent. Experience. Experience. He levels up. Enemy, put an enemy out of action so he gets a martial advancement. That's sweet. Same for him, experience, fortunate was returned, didn't lose anything, full recovery. Okay, okay, he's the most valuable warrior apparently, despite dying. So this is, this is good, we lost. We lost, but we survived intact, and that is really what matters. Um, I'm so glad that we didn't lose anyone, I didn't want to lose someone on that first mission. So luckily everyone made a full recovery, no issues, none whatsoever. I'm so relaxed and happy about that. And uh... Hopefully our good luck, well, at least our good luck at the end of the mission will continue in next episode. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, as you may have noticed, I'm a, I'm a more time noob. I don't know a great deal about this. So feel free to give me tips and tricks and all that sort of stuff in the, in the description down below. Like in particular, I'm not sure about the best build for a team and how to, how to level up these guys. So if you've got any advice in that area, feel free to let me know. The only thing I will not take, though, is get rid of Flump, Clump, and Blump for a meta-diverse team. I don't care about that. I want Flump, Blump, and Clump. They are my guys. These are my dudes. This is what's going to bring it home for us. So, uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your advice. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye.